Welcome to our video on font rendering challenges. Today we're tackling a specific question from a designer who has created a unique true type font using FontForge. The issue at hand is how to prevent anti-aliasing or sub-pixel rendering that can make the font readable on certain color schemes. Let's dive into the details of this intriguing problem. Welcome to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. To prevent anti-aliasing or sub-pixel rendering of your true type font, we need to focus on the hinting instructions within the font itself. First, open your font in FontForge. Navigate to the Element menu and select Font Info. Here you can adjust the font settings. Next, you can add hinting instructions. In FontForge, select a glyph and go to Element, then Font Info. Here you can add instructions to control how the font is rendered. Additionally, ensure that your font's Use True Type Instructions option is enabled. This allows the font to utilize the hinting instructions you set. Finally, export your font as a True Type file. Test it in your application to see if the rendering has improved without the unwanted halos. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. Subpixel rendering in Windows can make fonts unreadable on certain color schemes, often due to miscalibrated clear type settings. For optimal clarity, text color should match the display's color plane. High-resolution grayscale displays are ideal for black or grayscale text. Disabling clear type can improve legibility for images saved as files, as it allows for better compression and display compatibility. However, for best results, use vector formats. In GDI, control clear type settings using the log font structure. In GDI Plus, use set text rendering hint on a graphics instance. Not all fonts support clear type, and forcing incompatibility can help avoid it for specific fonts. Certain conditions prevent clear type anti aliasing, such as rendering on printers, using low color displays, or using non true type fonts. Also, check the GASP table in TTF format and ensure the optimized for clear type bit in the head table is not set. And that's it guys. I hope we've gone through the question and found that solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.